Hey everyone, welcome. Welcome to The Moving Image. Uh, my name is Poncho Navarro and I'm so excited to start this project because it's something that I've been cooking up for a while now and it's finally becoming a reality. And this project is a podcast with video about cinematography. And uh, we're going to interview cinematographers and talk about their craft, talk about their work, see them looking at their work and hopefully break it down see why they did what they did, see how they did it, and just try to get a glimpse of that process in which they turn words on a page to moving images. And the emotional aspect of it, but also the technical and technological uh, aspect of that. Right. So we're going to break down shots, we're going to ask all the questions, we're, gonna, we're just going to make it happen, man. So... Yeah, I'm really excited about this. We have a bunch of guests lined up already and that makes me really excited and really happy. So hopefully you'll stick with us, you'll tune in and you get some value out of it and uh, hopefully not only you but also the DPs that come here and talk about their work and like just let's just try to have fun with that. What else can I tell you? A little bit about me. My name is Alfonso Navarro but I just go by Poncho. I am a 27-year-old aspiring cinematographer. Some would say I am a little late to the game but that's because I discovered my love for film a little late in my life. Um, I went to school for sound, for sound engineering. I grew up as a musician. I had a band with my grandpa. Uh, I was that little funny kid that could play the drums. And then that evolved eventually into like actually practicing with the band and playing in church, playing in uh, parties, playing in county fairs and stuff like that. So that was fun. Um, but I never thought about movies too much. I mean, I did go to the movies a lot with my dad, and uh, but I never thought about how actually movies were made, right? It was not until my last year of university where I had uh, a couple of electives about film and filmmaking that I, I realized that all of the stuff about sound that I had been studying up to that point could be part of something way bigger than sound and music themselves, right? Uh, that sound is the small part of a, an otherwise huge orchestra of disciplines that comprise filmmaking. So that, I, I fell in love with that. So I bought a camera, I saved up for, for a camera. I taught myself how to use a camera. I um, taught myself how to edit video. And I started working as a video editor at Televisa which is the biggest TV network in Mexico. And I slowly started to veer towards the camera operating because I, I mean, they couldn't get me away from the camera. So I was in the field, uh, gathering images, gathering stories in like concerts and music festivals and stuff like that for a music channel in, in Televisa. Um, and at the same time, I had a, a small production company with some friends from, from school. And it was funny because it was three little sound guys trying to make film or videos. But it was fun. I mean, we shot a bunch of music videos. We shot a bunch of uh, music-related content. But yeah, I mean, at some point I, I said, you know what? This isn't cutting it for me. I need to go into film. I, need to, I want to make films. I want to, make, I want to tell stories in a different way, right? So I applied to go to film school. And uh, I was this close to getting in. I just, uh, I got rejected at the last last stage of the application process, right? So me and my wife said, you know what? Let's just get a fresh start. So we packed up our bags. We packed up our cats. We booked a plane to Toronto. And here we are. I got into a one-year film course in Centennial College, which was pretty solid, pretty good. I met a lot of, a lot of people from all over the world. And that was really fun because I got to shoot a bunch of short films and uh, I, uh, I got to play around with a lot of gear and actually hone in the skills that I had been learning on my own for a couple of years. And I found out that I was actually decent at it. I mean, I could somewhat, you know, produce nice looking images. Obviously, I'm not satisfied with what I'm uh, doing right now. I have a lot to learn and I, this is part of that learning journey for me. And uh, for me, this was the next step. Talk to amazing DPs and create some value for whoever's out there, whoever's uh, willing to watch and listen. And maybe 
someone else is in my situation where they didn't find their passion until a little later in their life. But once they found it, that fire can't be put out. So welcome. Welcome to The Moving Image. We have a bunch of guests lined up, a bunch of amazing cinematographers. First up is Eliana Cárdenas, AMC. She is amazing. I'm so grateful that she chose to be the godmother of this, uh, of this project, as we say in Mexico. So stay tuned. I'm never going to ask you to subscribe. Do that if you will or don't. I don't care. I'm not doing this for the clout. I'm just doing this for the passion that I have and for other people that might feel the same way and we can connect and you can just reach out and we can, you know, I don't know, see what happens from there. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of this. Buckle up and let's go.